If you want the most accurate rifle ammunition possible, you need to be absolutely sure that you have consistent case neck thickness. Otherwise, the bullet enters the rifling off center and you've got problems. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Now, in the past, I've shown this type of check with a conventional analog ball micrometer with thousandth level resolution. You take a few readings around the circumference of the case mouth and you compare the thickness values. That works good. Now I've got this easy data micrometer from eye gauging. This has thousandth level accuracy. Now I can take my precision measurements to the next level. And if you've been watching the channel recently, I've been doing a lot of gunsmithing projects. I've built the Winchester Model 70 heavy varmint rifle. I just built a 224 Valkyrie Remington 700. I'm using match grade barrels. I'm getting down to tenths of thousands of inches. And when you care about that kind of accuracy and precision in your work, you need tools like this. Now I've also demonstrated this smart wireless Bluetooth interface that works with these eye gauging easy data micrometers. That's also going to work with the zero to one ball micrometer in the same family of tools. So that's great. We could hook it up to a tablet or a phone and then we'd have data to do statistical analysis for a particular brand of brass or a particular batch of brass. We're going to know if we need to turn next or not. This is great. So let me show you how to use the tool. So the easy data ball micrometer from eye gauging is essentially the same as the conventional micrometer but instead of having the conventional anvil, it's got the ball. So everything else is pretty much the same. It's got the lock, it's got a nice large display, and it's got the ratcheting thimble, and we can easily calibrate the unit by just pressing the power button with a short press. That's gonna zero it out, and then we can just confirm that by ratcheting the thimble the same exact way with the same rotational speed. A long press on the power button will turn the unit off. The middle button is used for switching between inch and metric. A short press will switch between those two modes and a long press will go to absolute mode instead of incremental mode. The data button is used for sampling data through the data port. So there's quite a bit of good features here. It's got the large battery, which I like, which is the same for all of the micrometers in the series. And it also has the plastic insulating cover so that you don't heat up the tool and cause a slight difference in readings because of the heat of your hand. So let's get this into the base and then I like to use a holder because it frees up your hands and then we'll take some measurements. So this is the brass that we're going to be testing. This is brand new Starline 224 Valkyrie brass. I've had super good results with this brass, both in 224 Valkyrie, in 223 Remington, and so on and so forth. So how good is our case neck thickness consistency? Let's find out. So to measure a piece of brass, we simply open up the anvil and then close it against the ball. And we take a reading, 14 and a half thousandths, rotated about 90 degrees. 14.7, rotated about 90 degrees, 13.9, a little bit off center there, 14 and a half. You gotta read at the same exact spot. So very, very good consistency. And again, we could plot this data to a device if we wanted to. So there you go. Quick look at the Easy Daily Ball Micrometer from eye gauging. Now there's gonna be a full write-up with a little bit more information. So if you wanna know more about this tool, check that out, I'll have links to the product pages as well. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of the action here on Gavin Tube, please subscribe to my channel with notifications. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.